Hello everyone, welcome back to Cracksoid. It's day 5 of 30 days challenge and I'm back with a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install kernel as you and root your phone. I'll be performing this on Redmi Note device but same goes to other Android phone. However, remember that you need to download separate file for your phone's model. In this video, I'm not going to talk about drawbacks or benefits of kernel as you. So we'll discuss that on another video. So this video is straightforward about the installation process of kernel as you and also routing your phone using kernel as you method. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. <music> So this is my device Redmi Note 8 on which I have installed a custom ROM named Pixel OS. If you want to know all about this ROM, you can check the video in the description section below where I have done a deep review of this ROM. Back to the topic, this phone has the Quicksilver kernel pre-installed along with this ROM and this is important because the kernel will play a vital role in routing your phone using the kernel as you method. The most important thing to remember is that you cannot root any Android phone using the kernel as you method because not all kernels are integrated with kernel as you support. For this you need another kernel that supports kernel as you. Fortunately for my phone there are some kernels made by talented developers that support kernel as you. Cryo kernel is one of them that supports kernel as you. The other file you can see is the kernel as you app. If you are familiar with the Magisk Manager app, then it will be easy for you to understand as this kernel as you app is similar to the Magisk Manager app. From here, you can check the root status, grant super user permission and install different modules on your phone. I'll show you by installing this kernel as you app. As you can see this is the interface of this app and it is saying unsupported because of the kernel installed on my device as that kernel does not support this kernel as you. So what I have to do is I have to change the kernel of my phone and install this new cryo kernel. To install the kernel simply reboot your phone into custom recovery mode. I have installed Orange Fox custom recovery on my phone and if you don't know how to install custom recovery on your phone then check my video on the description section below. Now in this Orange Fox recovery you need to take a backup as changing the kernel with an unsupported or corrupted file may break your phone. Make sure to backup before proceeding with the installation process. To do a backup simply tap on the backup section and select the boot DTBO and system partitions and then do the backup. This will take some time to complete the backup process. So I'll fast forward this process. So finally the backup is completed and this will help us if anything goes wrong. We can reflash these files to revive our phone in case we break our device. Now go back and enter the wipe section then select the Dalvik slash art cache and cache options and swipe to wipe them. Now go to the file section and locate the kernel file that we have downloaded which I saved in the Cracksoid folder. Here I'll simply tap on this cryo kernel and swipe to install it. This installation process will not take long and in about a minute it will be installed. Now the installation process has been completed so we need to reboot our phone. After rebooting your phone to the system you'll notice that your phone's kernel has been changed. Before it had the Quicksilver kernel, but now it is replaced with the Cryo kernel. Now I'll head towards the kernel as you app. I'll open the app and as you can see, it is now showing working. Before there was an unsupported warning, but now it's working. Also below you can see the kernel name along with its version. Now as it is working, we can also get the super user section from where we can grant super user permission. Currently by default it has disabled root access for all apps but if you want to give root access to any specific app you can do it manually from here. This is the main benefit of this method of routing as it gives root access selectively to needed apps not to the entire device. For a quick demo as you can see the root checker app doesn't have super user permission enabled. When I go to the root checker app and check the root status of the phone, it shows that this phone is not rooted. 
but if I give the super user permission to the root checker app from this kernel as you then in the same root checker app it will start showing that phone is rooted. Similarly, you can grant root access to any apps that you like. This will give root access to specific apps only and your phone will think that it is not rooted. In this way, you can install the kernel as you and root your Redmi Note device easily. In our upcoming videos, I'll be making more videos related to kernel as you. So if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.